Welcome to Dr. Jester Rent, and I'm gonna rant about this shit over here. From Daily Mail. Walk Warriors outrage of Galgadot being cast as Cleopatra because she is not black and ridiculed for not knowing the Egyptian queen was Greek. Galgado has been tapped to play Cleopatra in the upcoming historical epic. The news drew criticism on social media from users who wrongly assumed the Egyptian queen was African and black. Cleopatra was ethnically Greek, meaning she was likely first king like ghetto white Israeli actress. Well, before I go this and further, we need to drink some coffee. Because apparently people are way too retarded. Mm. Oh, and this time, this time I did not add any sugar to my coffee. So I'm definitely a bit more level headed um, and less hyper than you. Mm, uh, than yesterday. Thankfully. But before I go on, uh, there's a theory going on that means. Um, it's mostly predominant on the woke, control left, and on the Afrocentric believers. That they believe that all Egyptians were in fact black. No, that is not the case. That is not and will never be the case. Mostly because... Um, let's see. Let me show you. Uh, it's definitely not quite the case. Why, as you ask? Well, because there was a big, very fat, large desert expanding completely and utterly from uh, from southern Egypt at where most of the blacks themselves come from, the sub-Saharan blacks. Even the name itself says sub-Saharan. It means that the people from sub-Sahara did not um, did not uh, communicate with the Egyptians themselves, so they were uh, isolated. It's uh, on in the entire. Um, I, how how do I put it? Um, they were a bit isolated, as you would like to, as I would like it to put it, uh, because they weren't not. Uh, they they did not have communications because it was easier for you to cross a sea, in this case the Mediterranean Sea, than to than to communicate with people from. Uh, 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 from, I don't know, from the western side of Africa. And this, it's very, very clear on on its genetics, as you can see here. It's still on the Daily Mail, but in this case, I'm mostly using the Daily Mail because of the research, and it shows on the map itself where the entire Egyptian population comes from. Here you can see Neolithic population, ancient population of the Levant. These are all the populations of Egypt. That's what the people looked like in Egypt, in ancient Egypt, from 400 CE to BCE, Common Era, before the Common Era, and the 400 Common Era. So, this is 400 uh, after the year zero. So, you know. They did not and will not look like the sub-Saharan Africans that you are familiar with in games where historical revisionism happens. This one is from Pharaoh, the New Era. It's a remaster, no, not a remaster, a remake, as, our, as you would probably classify, of the Pharaoh games that spawned the Caesar series and other things. As you can see here, this is historical revisionism, this is fake. But then you're gonna ask, what about the Nubians? Mm. No, the Nubians looked a bit like this. The Ethiopians, these are the Nubians that you get. See, you can see they are not black, they are a mix of Arabs-ish looking people. So. 
why? Why are these people doing so much historical revisionism? You ask. Well, because they don't have a historical knowledge. They are too dumb to understand that even the Africans, the sub-Saharan Africans, had their own empires. They had their own civilizations, unmeddled by the Mediterranean civilization around all that region. They did not get meddled. And guess what? It was amazing. Why would you deny the fact that they could develop a civilization without the meddling of the Europeans? Because they are too retarded to understand that. But, yeah, here is the article that is a much more reliable source from Fizz.org. The Fizz genome data from ancient Egyptian mummies. And this is genetic makeup. This is things that you cannot deny. It is... The same thing as the Daily Mail showed, and here you got it. It's the same thing, the only difference is that this one is from the same most reliable uh, article. They used the genetic, the only difference is that this one did not show the map that the Daily Mail showed. I do not understand or comprehend why these people are so damn difficult and retarded on the concepts. How cannot how they cannot understand? Obviously, Egypt today is a mo uh, much more blacker or much more sub-Saharan blacker than in the past, because now we can communicate um, with the Africans of the Western side, and there was the Arabs, the Arabs doing the slave trade, the Islamic sa slave trade in which they used the slaves on that region and transported to all over the African continent to the northern African continent and the Middle East. That's why today it looks uh, much blacker. But let's go back to the article. Um, let's jump on to the confirm she will play, play the titul titular role on the new movie. So not only Cleopatra was Greek, she would probably look pretty much like her, albeit uh, Yes, yeah, so it'll be look a, mo a lot more like her, but she would definitely not look black. Let's see, uh, let's see. As it has the same energy as this. Hmm? Well, it's correct. This is what you would expect to look like an Egyptian to look like. Ah. <sighs> It's so damn difficult. It's not even Arab land. The Arabs were not quite present in that region. Holy shit, the pickle. These people are not very bright. They want historical revisionism because they believe they themselves do not have an identity. identity. They do. The Arabs have their own empires, they had their own civilization, and the Sub-Saharan blocks, were, they also had their own civilization, and it was amazing. Why is that the need to appropriate Egyptian... Uh, Egyptian... Uh, ethnicity, identity, why? Why? Why do they need to do that? They are absolutely fucking retarded. You saw it. You have seen it. I showed it to you. And this game here is another example, like I, I've mentioned. It's another example of stupidity. And I'm even having half a time to go on their Steam forums and posting this. But at the same time, we all know that the Steam forums are completely censorious. So the moment I post this, it's gonna get deleted, I'm gonna get banned, and I'm gonna get a community strike on my Steam profile. It's bloody annoying having to deal with this shit. But what can you do? Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you on my next video. Good night.